Yo guys, what is going on? JP is back for another video. We've got my best friend Jägermeister here, and we are gonna be trying an array of German snacks, candies, and even a couple beers and a German soda. Make sure you guys hit the like button, hit subscribe, and let's get right into this. I also have some company. What's good? <laughs> <laughs> That's my friend Johannes, and he's gonna be trying all these things along with me so we can give you guys two different thoughts and perspectives on all these new foreign snacks. While I was in Germany, I tried some snacks, but I didn't get to try many. And uh, I have really haven't seen any of these before, except for Kinder. We both have tried Kinder, but we're gonna try that again. And I'm still holding the Jaeger, I'm gripping onto this, see? This, this doesn't get far from me. <laughs> but anyways, let's get right into the video. So, the first thing I really wanna try, this thing right here, it stood out to me, so it's called Prinzen Rolle Shoko. That's definitely not how you pronounce it, but there's a picture of little Prince Charming on here, and we've got crackers with some chocolate in between. So at first I was kind of like, this looks very comical. I wasn't taking this snack too seriously. I don't think Johannes was either, but once I noticed that chocolate in there, I was like, hold on, we might have something. We might have something here, so, whoa. I like, I like how this opens up. I thought it was gonna be a mess. We'd have to open from the top. So let's try one of these biscuits. It's pretty good. It's pretty dry though. So I know the British, they love to eat their biscuits with tea. Is there some type of drink? Oh, maybe a coffee or milk, I would assume in Germany would be the popular thing to eat this with, but pretty good. All right, hello everyone. My name is Johannes. I'm one of Joel's friends and I actually got a sweet tooth, so I'm kind of excited to try some of these sweets. Uh, so let's get let's get right into it. Assuming that says Prince. Uh, Prince and Roll. I'm not even gonna try to pronounce some of that. I got no, no German at all. Uh, but let's let's try it. Get this out right here. Looks looks nice. I like the I like the way it's set up. That tastes good. I like the biscuit on it. And the, the chocolate is kind of sweet. It's like a little, I don't know what kind of chocolate it is. It tastes a little bit dark. It doesn't taste fully like milk chocolate, but I like it, it's up there. Next thing we're gonna try, these right here. So we've got Lauren's Erdnub Lock-In. And this is a Mexican style piquant Wurziger Geschmack. It's so hard to pronounce German words when you don't know German. I want to think that piquant is like a cognate for picante or something, which is hot or pepper. And I see peppers, maybe. Let me know in the comments if that was a good guess. But let's give it a try. We look into the bag, this is what we see. Pretty good. Oh, oh my God. So this is one benefit of me not knowing German is I don't know what the snack is before I tried it. So it's a much more honest review because I don't get the judgments before I even try it. So this is peanuts and peppers combined and it's really good, like, like really good. I don't know how that works, but it does. In Germany, they also have nutrition scores in the top right corner and this one doesn't score very highly, but that's expected. But overall guys, this is, a, this is really good. Like one of the better, chips or crisps or snacks that I've tried in a while, honestly. Like, I'm having more, like this is really good. Mm. Um, <laughs> I have no idea how to pronounce that. I don't wanna butcher it, but Mexican style, I mean, I like Mexican food. So, I like spicy chips, that's my favorite kind. So we'll see how this, how this goes. Oh yeah, that's good. I don't think I've tasted anything like this in, here in the US, it just it kind of tastes like popcorn. Like it's got the same crunch as popcorn, but it's like a little spicy, which that's exactly what I was looking for. So, nah, this is good, I like this. It's not too spicy either, so you can, you can snack on it for a while. So let's get right into the next one. This one is called Chio and Tacos with two C's. Texas barbecue style. Was this even German? You see how they market things with like American style sometimes? I mean, that's Texas and American state and then just this whole cowboy look. That's a very uh, 
American thing. Anyways, let's get right into it. Okay, so these are pretty good. They're uh, not as flavorful as I thought they'd be. The Texas barbecue is a, it's much more subtle, that whole flavor. So this is like a cool little snack for when you're drinking or something, but it's not something I would wanna have on its own. Whereas something like this, I feel like could really hold its own and I would enjoy it by itself. This is all right. I wouldn't rate it too highly though. So not as good as the other one. Chio Tacos, Texas barbecue style. This is, that's in English, so I assume maybe they sell it here in the U.S. somewhere. And these are interesting looking, looking chips, like little noodle things. That's kind of, that's kind of cool. It's kind of remind me of like, we got this thing called like sun chips in the U.S. And there's like a, a spicy version of it. That's kind of what it reminds me of. Sun chips are like, they're kind of supposed to be healthy chips. I don't know if this is supposed to be that way, but kind of tastes like it. I taste more of like cornstarch on there so it tastes it tastes it tastes pretty good i think i still got that on top but this is like a, a close second it tastes pretty good so all these snacks have got me a little thirsty so i'm gonna try a drink this is a paul loner spezzy <laughs> spezzy we laughed at that name when we first heard it just different compared to what we're used to but it looks like some type of carbonated soda possibly and that sound oh what the hell that sound makes me think I'm correct. Ooh. Why does this taste like an off-brand Coke? This tastes like a Coca-Cola or something. What, what is this? This tastes like a Diet Coke. Now, someone, someone went into the Coca-Cola um, factory, brought out the recipe, and there were just a couple things they got off. But, wow. That, I mean, that... There has to be some type of copyright infringement in this situation, bro. Like, this is literally tastes exactly like a Coca-Cola. The Spezzy. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, orange lemonade mid cola. Not sure what that means. I think it might have a little bit of caffeine in there. Try it out. That tastes, that tastes good. It tastes like kind of like Coca-Cola and Sprite mixed together. I don't know how to explain it, but that tastes, that tastes pretty good. Let's try another one. So this one is, um, it's actually alcoholic. It's only 2%, which I was very disappointed to find out. This is Gooser Natcher Rodler. Let me know if my pronunciation of Gooser was correct. It's a, it's a try, it's an effort at least. And this looks like it'll be lemon flavored with some alcohol, so I'm interested to see. Yeah, I mean, I taste like a, a subtle, you taste a subtle taste of like some beer and then there's lemon. Does it go well together? If it were cold, that would be pretty good, but it, it's all right. Like, it's not amazing, but it's not bad either. Like, if someone handed me one, I'm probably not gonna put it down, but that could go for a lot of different things. It's got some lemon in it. I mean, my favorite soda is Sprite. So if it tastes anything like that, it's, that's a double my books. I don't taste the lemon at all. That's kind of that's kind of weird. Hold on, it just it tastes exactly like twisted tea that we have here. I, I'm not gonna hold you, but the alcohol is not that strong. I don't taste it as much as I do in twisted tea, so I, I like it. It's not too bad. It's also a little warm. I feel like if it was cold, it would be it'd be a lot better. Next thing we're gonna try. These look very good. Are these tofifis? And this is like hazelnut caramel. Nugget cream, chocolate, chocolate, maybe. I don't know, bro. I'm trying to translate these words. Oh, I like the presentation here. It's like it's Valentine's Day. Oh, that's cool. So this little string comes around. And there we are. Yo, that was, that's smooth. I've, I've, I've never opened a chocolate box that smoothly. That was nice. All right, let's get it. Bang. <laughs> oh my God. If, if Nutella and caramel had a baby and made a little candy, that's what that would be. So, heaven. Oh, fancy. 
Yeah, that's sweet. I, li I like chocolate. I, li I got a sweet tooth, I told you. So that that's pretty good. And there's a little crunch into it. They got like a little, I don't know what that is around it. But whatever it's encasing it, that also tastes, that also tastes really good. Oh, there's a little bit of caramel in there too. I'm tasting it now. Oh yeah, no, that's, that's good. I want to take some home with me. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, next thing we're gonna try is Glyco Mikados. And this is milk chocolate. I think I've tried something similar. They're pretty popular, not only in the United States. I think they come from somewhere in Asia, but they're called Pocky. Yeah, Pocky are really good. They have a lot of different flavors, so. Only two. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I was gonna write this one off and just say it tastes exactly like a Pocky, but that would be a lie because this bottom area is a bit more toasted or burnt, so it gives off a it gives off some more flavor on the bottom than I was expecting. So this is like a distinguished pop Pocky or something. Cado, and they're milk chocolate. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Only problem I have with pocket sticks, like they're not, I don't think they're sweet enough. So let's see if this one is. Uh, yeah, that's definitely sweeter. And it's got a little more, it's like, it's just like slightly bigger than a pocky stick. It's got more crunch to it too. I, I'll take these over pocket sticks for sure. So the next thing we're gonna be trying are these Chips Frisch. And it's from the brand Funny Fritch. Let's try this. I think they've gone a little bit, maybe a tiny bit stale. Actually, maybe not, that's just the texture. It's like a barbecue chip, but like not that much seasoning or flavor, you know? I think what, what I'm used to in the United States is chips being like really bursting with, a, they're just covered in seasoning. These are too, but it's not as overpowering. It's pretty good though. I would say, this would be my chip hierarchy from what I've tried. So it would go this, this, and then this would be my favorite. Actually, give me some more of these while we're at it. These are really good. Mm. These look like, these look like barbecue chips. I don't see any, anything that might, that sounds like barbecue on here, but I don't know any German, so maybe it might be. Let's give it a try. Mm-hmm. Yeah, these just taste like barbecue chips. I wouldn't say they're any different than the ones I've tried before, but yeah, they just taste like straight barbecue chips. All right, so before we get into the Haribo, I really wanna try the Haribo Cola because I've never tried that before. Of course, I've tried Haribo gummy bears. Anyone has. Let's have a sip of this. So this is, it looks like it's a beer. Yeah, it is. Gaffel Kolsch. But when I was in Germany, I tried a, a variety of different German beers. This, however, is one that I have yet to try, so I'm excited. 4.8%, so not quite at that 5% benchmark that <laughs> I usually look for, but looks good. Let's try it. Ah, it's all right. I mean, it's a warm beer that's sat in like transit for a month in, in my closet for a bit. So probably not, you know, I have to take that into account when trying these different things, but it's a decent beer. It's not bad. Is it something I go out of my way to drink? Probably not, but that's okay. Mm. Yeah, that just tastes like, ooh, you can really taste the alcohol in there. I kind of like, when, I, when it comes to drinks like this, I kind of like it to like hide the taste of alcohol, but it's fine. Um, yeah, not my favorite. I think I'll take this over, but it's also because I'm not too much of a of a drinker, so can't give too many pains on that. Let's try a regular Haribo. It's actually it's been such a long time since I've tried these guys. I mean, five years maybe since I've had a Haribo gummy bear. Could be more, honestly. They're much more popular among children, of course. Mm. They're so damn good though. I don't know what it is. I love the flavors. I have not grown out of, I don't think you ever grow out of the Haribo taste buds. That's gonna be good for the rest of my life. And then 
Next thing we're gonna try is this Haribo Happy Cola. And looks like there's some type of seltzer or carbonation graphic there. So maybe this will be, I don't, I don't think it's gonna be carbonated, but okay, it smells just like Coca-Cola. I gotta say though, honestly, I think this one, the reason why this, what's holding me back with this is like, it makes me wanna drink a Coke. <laughs> and I don't have a Coke here. But this right here, I, I feel like you can't really beat the classic. So I'm gonna take the regular Haribo over the Coke, which is something, when I, when I saw them together, I was like, I'm gonna like the Coke way more, but I don't know if that's the case. These are classics, one of my favorite snacks. If I remember like in 7-Eleven or one of our convenience stores, I always pick up one of these. This is just, I know how these taste. <laughs> these are good. You still gotta try them, doesn't matter. I, I, can, I can see you eat all of them. <laughs> oh, it's shaped like a Coke bottle, that's cool. That's cool. It's definitely got the Coca flavor at the start, but it kind of goes away like right away. I kind of, I like the savory feeling of, of these. So sadly, I'm gonna have to stick with the, the classic for now, but no, those are all really good. I think my favorite one. That's your favorite snack out of these, all? These are my, my favorite for sure. And then this is a close, no, wait, which one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is one and two right here. We might be, we might be uh, finishing this and those, those chips up over there. <laughs> no, for sure. <laughs> All right. But yeah, uh, no, those were really nice. Uh, I told you I got a sweet tooth, so that's probably why they came out on top. But um, a lot of them are not too different from American snacks. Just got like a different, different name. But they're they're good. I mean, I I buy one of these if they're they're around in the U.S. for sure. So those are my uh, reviews on all these these different snacks. Uh, Johannes and I's different reviews. I hope hopefully you guys enjoyed that um, If you want me to try other snacks, of course, this is a very Limited variety of, of different German snacks and this was sent by one person So I can obviously go out and get more this could serve as an introduction video into uh, German cuisine and snacks So if you guys want to see more content relating to that us taste testing different things uh, Show some support in the comments. Let me know what you guys would like to see Hit the like button, hit subscribe, and I will catch you all in the next one. Peace.